Welcome into another day of math, word, problem, madness. My party people, Coach Anderson here. Hopefully you're having a good day. And let's tackle this question here. So what is the measure of each angle? So that's the first thing we want to do, no matter what, all right? First thing we always want to do is understand why we're sitting down and trying to do this to begin with. So what is the measure of each angle? Sounds good. So I'll just start off by highlighting that. So it looks like we have two angles. If I look at these answer choices, right? We have pairs of angles. So cool. I'll just go ahead and say, you know, we want both angles. So I'll just say angle one equals whatever. Angle two equals whatever it's going to be. Again, we just want to make sure that we note that down for ourselves. That way, when we come back and we start filling in the blanks, we know that we're still on the right track. All right. So that's step one. Now let's check out the information that we have. And don't forget, if you like the way that I teach, drop a like, drop a subscription and go ahead and comment. You know what it is. Help me so I can keep helping you. So when we're reading here, we see that it says in a pair of complementary angles, one angle measures 18 degrees less than four times the measure of the other angle. OK, that seems a little a lot, right? That seems like that's a lot. But don't worry. Don't worry. There are a couple of clues here that will tell us exactly what to do. So right over here, what you're going to see is it says, hey, a pair of complementary angles. What does complementary mean, my party people? Complementary angles, that refers to angles that add up to be 90 degrees or a right angle. So right over here, I'm going to zoom on in and I'm going to write this fact down. Angle one plus angle two, that's going to equal 90 degrees. So I'm just writing down the clues that I have, okay? Just writing down the clues that I have, and I'm going to continue on here. And it says one angle measures 18 degrees less than four times the measure of the other. Okay, what does that mean? Well, to do this, I'm going to go ahead and just mark angle one as, you know, let's just go ahead and say X, okay? I'm just going to say X. So if I marked angle one as X, what is the second angle going to be? Well, read it right here. This is the hardest part for a lot of people, so pay close attention. Notice that it says, one of the angles measures or is equal to 18 degrees less than, okay, so less than what? 18 less than what? So something minus 18 and four times the measure of the other angle. So if the other angle is X, then we can say four times that angle minus 18. So 18 less, right over here, 18 less than four times the other angle. So we would write that down like this, 4x minus 18. So the setup is way too important. So if you need to pause and rewind, go ahead and do that. The setup is way, way, way too important here. So if we just name the first angle x, the other angle, again, 18 less than four times the other. 18 less than four times the other. Booyah, and we're good. Why are we good? Well, because we have all the clues that we need now. We can figure out what the angles are. And if you're sitting here confused and panicked and you're saying, Coach, why don't I just test out all these answer choices? Yeah, you can absolutely do that. You can absolutely do that. But you have to make sure that it follows the rules that the problem gives you. Are these angles complementary? And also, is one 18 less than four times the other? So you have to understand this already to know how to use the answer choices. So either way, you can, if you can use the answer choices, you can do it this way too. Let's figure this out now. Because we know that these angles are complementary, what we're going to do is we're going to say that if we add those angles, so the first angle, x, plus the second angle, 4x minus 18, we add those together and we're supposed to get 90 degrees. Booyah. So we're good to go. We can find that first angle super straightforward, super easy. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to combine like terms, x and 4x. That'll go ahead and give us 5x. We still have the minus 18 equals 90. And then the next thing we do, we're trying to get that x by itself. So I'll remove the 18 from both sides. So I'll go ahead and subtract, or excuse me, I will add, because remember we're doing the opposite operation. So we'll add 18, add 18 right there, nice and easy. And so now we have 5x equals 108. So now the last move that we're going to make here to find the value of x is to divide both sides 
by five. And I'll go ahead and do that long division right over here. And don't forget, if you are looking to raise your ASVAB score, go ahead, check out the link in the description because we have our Memorial Day sale going on now and you can get my full program at the lowest price it'll be all year long. So there's my phone number as well. That way you can text me and I'll go ahead and do the long division right here while that's on screen. So five going into 108, five goes into 10, that'll be twice. And then we have zero, bring down that eight, five goes into eight once. And then we have three left over. And so we'll use a decimal, drop that down. There's 30. So five goes into 36 times and there it is. We found one of the angles being 21.6 degrees. And now our job is gonna be to just compare the answers here and see which one is gonna be right. Well, I see that A and C both have 21.6. Which one's gonna be the right answer though? It's gonna to have to be C. Why is it C? How do I know that it's C? Well, I know that it's C because it says that the angles are complementary. They add up to 90. Do these two add up to 90? Absolutely not, right? Absolutely not. It's gonna be these two right here. And so there it is. That's the answer to this question, my math party people. As always, I'm always grateful for you watching this channel, helping us grow just like you are too. So if you need ASVAB help, as always, check out the link in the description or shoot me a text. My phone number is 567-698-8867. Go ahead and text us. Let us know that you're looking for ASVAB help and you want to take advantage of the sale. And we got your back all the way. Again, the phone number is text only. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, drop a subscription, and I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Cheers.